Hello, my audio is working. I'm just trying to very quickly finish building a ship before I go live, and uh, it is taking me a long time because I'm bad at building ships. <laughs> That's what's going on right now. Um, good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. It sounds like I have a very croaky voice again today. A classic. Look, I've had a busy week. <laughs> I'll be jumping on to chat in just a second. Uh, I just want to get this... I'm just working my points cost out here. It's a very suspensive torpedoes I'm loading into my ship. I'm gonna give away my secrets. Okay, that's it done. I just didn't name the ships. And we're good to go. All right, turn to my menu, and let's get things going. Um, we usually get three or four games in neutral C. I'm gonna have to end a little bit early today. So normally I would play for three hours. I'm gonna play for two hours today. Um, let me jump into chat. Good morning. Good morning, I'm just going to put this on, push to talk. How's it going? Hello. Cool. Can you hear me okay? Yep, you're coming through fine. Awesome. That's my alarm going off, which is very professional. Let's get a few more people to jump on. We usually get like, we, we, we had a, a 5v5 last week, which was pretty cool. I don't know if we'll get that many today. Um, we'll get a few games in, for sure. Well, I've got three fleets I want to test out, so let's see. Excellent. Hello. I have someone lost Discord, which is great. Yep, I have lost Discord. You're still coming through? Yeah, I can hear you. Weird, it's not running anywhere. It's not even running in my taskbar. One second. There we go. Now I can see who's here. Cool, we've got four people straight off. Hey, Crash, hey, Tacos, and hello, Neutral C. Well, do we want to just jump straight into a 2v2 and see who else shows up? Yeah, All right. Yeah, sure. Good news is they've updated the game, so hopefully um, my game will work better now and not immediately kick me out after Fing five minutes. Fingers crossed. Um, Taven's been playing it on his Linux box and seemed to be going okay. He had a few problems with it to start with, so finger hopefully that's helped out. I know this, this update has mostly been from modding support. I think they fixed. I think they fixed um, the, or at least they addressed the the beam DDs shooting off into nothing. <laughs> we'll have to see. I'm not running any beam DDs at the moment, but I do need to try them out again. Um, They're a lot. Could of I, they are good fun. Could I ask someone to host? Uh, maybe not crash just in case um, Linux continues to misbehave for them. Yeah, um, that, that seems like a <laughs> disaster. Uh, but I don't. You don't want to be joining a game that is being hosted in Australia because that gives me a ridiculously unfair advantage, and it's not the best experience. <laughs> Good old ping problems, yeah. <laughs> so I could cross a neutron C. Which one of you will? Uh... Uh... Not hey, hosting. Gabriel uh, Antes, how's it going? Uh, oh, no worries. TRM. How do I get up at 6 a.m. different? Because I get up at 6 a.m. every morning to feed my dog and my cats, so I just just, just keep going. All right, let us know when there's a game up. Make the pa put a password on it. Something simple like I don't know, High Fleet or Fish or something. Let's see it. Cross game night with simple password should be up. What is the password? One, two, three. The best password. That was a very good password. Uh, your client's version does not match host. So oh. you updated. I'm in. I have updated. And I can see the okay. icons for the um, faction, so it looks like you do need... Oh, I, I know what it is. There was a hotfix, which I probably haven't installed. 
mystery pass mystery oh, that's interesting. We've already cruises. got the uh, the fleet type. So yes. Currently, we have just aligned ships because that's all that exists. But I guess later we're going to get OSP ships. So now you can make believe, uh... you can add for mods. You can add a a fleet symbol and a fleet faction to your modded ships. Now, oh, that's dope. So the brawl cruisers fleet is my attempt to see if I could get brawling heavy cruisers to work. Uh, it's probably going to go really badly. <laughs> but we'll try it. We will try it out. Yeah, I think they changed it so that re uh, also, I think, uh, modded factions can borrow assets from uh, other factions. Ah, cool. So, like, if you're making a new faction, you don't need to manually drag in, like, every single weapon and component. That's a big bonus. I um, guess it would make mod dependencies, though, so... Mm. I mean, chat, yeah, can you confirm if you're getting game audio and uh, Discord chat, or are you just getting Discord chat? Really to, um, I guess it's good for variants. That's a good point. Yeah, you could have like a heavy cruiser variant with, I don't know, an extra engine or something. Awesome, thanks, yeah, no, Sifrin. Uh, we're just waiting for that update from Tacos, I think. <sighs> yeah, sorry about um... No, 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 no rush. I'm just explaining what's going on to chat. It's all good. So, jammer or no jammer? Um, I have a jammer on one of my ships. Because it's one of the best missile defenses at the moment. Yeah. I've been messing around with some uh, E-War based builds, which are a lot of fun. Make sure you've got burn through on your ships. That's probably the best way to ensure that you're not getting jammed. And then something I take all the time is burn through. Spotlights or uh, illuminators are also good. Yes, that's an interesting fleet name. Oh yeah, because it's it's, you can, you it's can very descriptive it and also on the nose on points, which I really like. It's one of those games where you can do that, and I yeah. people like to do that. I could have actually done it now. That I think about it. I could have added an extra. Um, I probably could have added an extra decoy or an extra chaff flare. Where is it? I have one build that's really fun that's evil based. I'm not going big E-War, I've just got a jammer on one of my ships. It's where I could go for... where is it? So this one's a lot of fun. I was testing around that uh, stealth missile setup as well. That's It's really interesting. Yeah, how does the stealth, um, the stealth uh, coating perform? There was a, a little bit of a, a concern in the community earlier this week about it, because someone built a missile that they just couldn't detect. Uh, but then, oh, quite no. nicely, they made their their mission to def work out how to defeat it, and they found a way to beat it. Yeah, point defense missiles are the current meta for point defense, I think, just yeah. for everything. I, I was testing that setup, and it's good, but... um. In an actual game, the thing is, you're never going to be, like, because jamming power falls off at a distance, so you actually need to get decently close. Decently close to work, make it actually work, yeah. And also, like, if you have a, if, if the opponent has, like, an offset spotter with a scryer, or even just, like, a basic offset spotter, it kind of defeats it, so you need to jam comms as well. Like, it's a powerful setup, but it, it, it is a setup, basically. Cool. Should we just all stay in the same channel for this game, keep it casual? Yeah, why not? Alright, when you guys are ready? Yeah, alright. Any folks? Let's just have some fun. At least to start with today. Get yeah. my, uh, I need to get my um, rust for the week I went back. Broken off. Also, I have no idea if my fleet design is going to work. So yeah, we're going in with two Axfords with um, if it is what I think it is, it yeah, Mark I think we're ready. And Mark 66s and some big missiles. We're just hoping to close the distance and brawl a little bit. screen loaded, so I'll start it up. Good luck. It's like nothing happened. <laughs> this will probably be the last uh, Nebula stream for a little while, because there's a lot of people wanting to play other games on the, this slot um, on the channel. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Um, and I've played uh, a lot of Nevis in a row. 
So I think next week we're going to play some Beyond All Reason. There's a, that came second in the vote for what to play this weekend. And then after that, we'll probably jump into some Barrow Trauma for a bit. I should pick Barrow Trauma up. It looks fun. I got loads of comments on my uh, last Barrow Trauma stream about how surprised everyone was that we were taking the game seriously. <laughs> Apparently nobody plays it. At least nobody streams it um, <laughs> and actually plays to, for the objectives. I mean, you can just bash through, but it's always more fun just doing some caves and doing some shit by the side. We had a lot of fun uh, when we played. It was really good. Alright, I'm, I'm thinking just... about going for the point that I'm jumping in close to and then seeing what's going on. Yeah, I might just follow follow you behind. I, I can support pretty well, but I can't really front line. Okay, we'll see what, we, we'll see what happens. We may get outcapped, but we'll do our best. Oh, everyone's waiting on me. So already I've realized I forgot to put my ships to formation in the fleet editor, so that's a great start. Ah, who needs formations? Formations are for chumps. Honestly, sometimes I find them more trouble than what they're worth. They can be, especially when ships bang into each other. But they are used for, especially for um, uh, coordinated fleets. Oh yeah, no, 100%. Aye, aye. Full power. If stuff's worked, meant to work together, then yeah, it's can be really useful. Aye, aye. Look, chat, I'm setting a heading on my ships in the direction aye, they aye. head to, so they, they don't turn around and fly sideways for the entire battle. <laughs> Alright, so we've got two, we've got two battle cruisers here. Um, they're both mounting a Mark 66 and a Mark 68. They both have a VLS-3 on the back with some pretty nasty missiles that might get through. Um, decent amount of PD, one is mounting a spotlight and one is mounting a, a blanket. And the idea just to, all my missiles are illuminator based missiles, so if I lose a spotlight I'm in trouble. Uh, let me just check something for my teammate. I have one, uh, just so you know. One what, Bros? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I thought he could catch you out. No, he's got uh, an E war for it. Cool. Yeah, I see him. Oh. Orders. Got you five. Might be you that's detecting it, right? Yeah, I'm getting locked. Oh, already, okay. Standing by. Yeah, both both my ships are getting locked. Uh huh. I really wish I had Missiles are a pretty big part of combat, but eventually uh, everyone runs out and it turns into a brawl. It's a casual game. I really wish I had Elin. <laughs> yeah, Elin would Elin would be great. The fucking best. Uh, I always have Elin. It's a must-have for my for all my fleets. Never so, never leave home without Elin. It's it's my motto. So my teammate here is running a, a missile carrier a cruiser. So this is a I'll actually a similar build, shooting, but he's got an extra missile you know, launcher. I mean, so you see where I'm going? He's got, got a lot going on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try and tuck in here, and that should hopefully break the lock. Yeah. I am not locked yet. I'm just being painted. Yeah, they can just see you. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're definitely way too far away to lock at this point. They're also double capped, so we're really far behind. Uh, we'll just kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent fucking strategy, you two. Top tier. I'm gonna move to there as quickly as I can. Yeah, okay. Going around this direction here. Oh, nice. That's very nice. Okay. Um, maybe change my idea then. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking that. What if I headed for down here then? Yeah, no, I say go for it. I can be in a position to support. Aye, aye. Full power. Aye, aye. Full power. Alright, let's see what happens. White Hat, eh? Is that some sort of E-War ship of goodness? Oh, fuck, that's the wrong channel, isn't it? God damn it. Or, or did you mean to send that in the open? <laughs> no. <laughs> the mind games. 
Definitely just a genuine mistake. Aye, aye. Roger that. Oh, look, I corrected my heading okay, commands. Getting a lock on Panopticon. Receiving. I'll see if I can't help you out. I've got a plan. Yeah, it's probably a good point here. I should... Oh, track, smoking. track, 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 track. Yeah. Go ahead, command. I've got a track. Commencing electronic fires. Track noted. Do you want me to... Receiving. I seem to have lost the ability to lock, which is not a good idea. Oh, I must have equipped the wrong radar. It's just a great start. That happens. Positioning. We that should be moving. Outgoing missile. Take him out. We'll get it done. Let's see if this does anything. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Missile stop. Missile stop. Yeah, my game's like Buzzer. just ate shit. No, do you crash again? Uh. Yeah, no, well, I, I guess I, I can wait the next week and we play BAR. Hope it'll oh. go better than last time. That sucks. Oh, I guess really I'm sorry. soloing this then. Don't worry, um... I've set up my fleet in a pretty advantageous position if you've, uh, see what I'm doing, Neutron. Uh, I'm currently busy having a bunch of missiles shot at me, give me a sec. I'm pretty sure that Don't worry, it's dead. fine. They're in pretty good... I've kept them pretty safe so far. Alright, well, um... Well, that's a lot of missiles. Sorry, Crash. Uh, give Team Tavian a, a shout if you get the chance, because he's managed to get the game running pretty well on Linux. Go ahead, Command. Sorry oh. that you are on your own now, Rooster. Okay. Uh, sorry, those no, Rooster. Were, those were semi-active missiles, and the jammer Which turned one? off, the spotlight turned off just as I was getting <laughs> into the staging range. Did they miss them? Yeah, that was, uh... We'll okay, I've got some rust to check off as well here. Understood. Engage. Uh, honestly, Neutron, if you want to back out and we'll go into, like, a 3v3 against the AI, I'm quite happy to do that. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Let me fire yeah, off... Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. ...one of these stealth missiles. I just want to see if you see it coming. And then we'll uh, back out. I haven't launched it yet. Guess what? My fleet is designed exactly to counter. Oh, awesome! Let's see. Let's see what happens. So I've got. I'm launching a uh, uh, an, a double stage size three stealth missile at you from my two Axfords. I've got them. Let so me... it's, in, it's inbound now. I've detected it. Oh, or at uh, least I've. No, 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 that's no, the no. other missiles. Whoops. Sorry, I yeah, know that's. They've all missed, which is interesting. Uh, yep, I've got track on it, and I've got reposts killing it. And that's down, cool. Okay, so it's not that. That's a double stealth missile as well. All right, let's back out. I want to fix this fleet as well. I think I think it's, I think it's fair to do a two v one. Yeah. It's a shame, uh, Frost, because um, behind is. the asteroid you were going past, I had a bunch of laser destroyers behind Ooh, there nice. within range, so I would have fucked yeah, you. Yeah, right you there. you you'd have you absolutely <laughs> destroyed me. Yeah, All right, no, let me been... let me quickly fix these radars. I also quickly need to. So what I think I need is I've got. I want to go for two spotlights. So let's be let's be honest here. If I'm using spotlight missiles. That. I've got to fix something in one of my fleets as well for a second. And then I've got frontline radar, which I thought I'd lock. Uh, no, no, only the parallax. It's a parallax. That's what I need. You know that you know what it is. It's because I mounted a parallax, but I forgot to unmount. The front line, so I had two uh, I had two radars and I got rid of the one that was looked like it was taking the most power. Um, now I need to uh, just this around because I'm overpower, but that's okay. We'll put in an energy regulator. Got plant control center. Yeah, plant control center, so sort that out. And now we're over budget by 83 points, which is disastrous. Um what can I drop? Well, these stealth missiles are... Why do these nice. missiles have to be so fucking expensive? Uh. I mean, is it really worth it to use a size 300 missiles? 
Uh, it's for the range is the real reason I'm taking them. Uh, t- two hundred size two missiles have plenty of range. They're actually they these are actually the um, the two stage missiles. Yeah, I know, but they've also got a size two two stage missile, and those size ones the- when you max out the uh, warhead on them. They can do pretty good work, and since it's a two-stage, range isn't really a factor. Uh, you make a good point. I kind of just wanted to mess around with the two-stage situation. Yeah, um, the size two is a two-stage as well. I mean, yeah, you're right. You can get some... I have a uh, six-point size two hybrid. I'm going to swap uh, it out for a VLS two. That does a lot of damage and pens pretty good armor, but it has to use semi-active. That's the only issue. Yeah, of course. It, it, it was so... um. A missile of that point cost obviously has to use um, semi-active. I mean, to be fair, that's not that big of a disadvantage because it is are pretty good anyway. Yeah. You just need to not completely fluff the micro like I did. So I've got a range of five thousand, which is actually kind of what I want. So I can only have 12 points for a missile. I don't have a lot of room for a missile, so I'm probably not going to mount anything extra on it. We'll call them borings. Uh, I could make it cheaper. How can I make it cheaper? Oh, get rid of the kinetic penetrator. That makes it a lot cheaper. Uh, oh, check the um, the terminal stage uh, thing. On the guidance. Oh, you know, terminal maneuvers, nothing. Because uh, the terminal maneuvers actually increase the point cost. Yeah, they do. And um, if you're doing terminal maneuvers, I think you really need a cool gas bottle. Or sight on missiles. Yeah, they're they're active enough for it. I mean, what is anything cheap in here? So four points is pretty cheap. A validator is pretty cheap. Yeah, maybe grab a command receiver just as a backup. Mm, command receiver validators aren't that great. Uh, are pretty costly. One point for a fixed uh, active radar sticker, though, is probably fine. If we lose our lock, it'll lock on with radar. Yeah, we'll do that, and we'll ignore small targets. Uh, remember, if it's validation, it just checks if it's if the uh, thing it is is there. So it's actually kind of useless in a validation role if it's a semi-active, which it looks like it is. It is semi-active. So what's a better validator then? Uh, something like weight combing to get rid of chaff. Problem with. Wake homing. Oh, it's wake, a wake homing validator yeah, is, is like free, isn't like... it? Yeah. There's two so points. Into validator mode. Okay, okay. I, I thought it was it's... a lot more expensive than that. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. I'll right, we'll try that out. Thank you. Yeah, it's only. Gosh. Wait, hang on. What? Can you go back to that? Is it 2.5 in validator for wake homing? Yes, it's 2.5 in validator. 0.25 oh. in base cost. Jesus. <laughs> Honestly, That's not that worth it then. I guess anti radiation was... seeker, but even then, it's if it was if it was in anti radiation, I'd put it in jamming, and I wouldn't put it in tar- in validate. I'd put it as a targeter. So if I'm getting jammed, I've got a backup. Hey, create, yeah. how's it going? I'll, I'll go with this. We'll try this out. It's probably going to be useless. I'm terrible. The SGL two hundred boring. Wow. <laughs> that was my name for it when I wasn't adding anything to it. Like? Is uh, an EO EO targeter with a backup extended uh, radar targeter, so you get the good staging range. Yeah, but the EO is eight points. It's. I mean, yeah, ridiculous. it's not a cheap setup, but it's uh, very reliable. Give me a second. I'm hundred points under for my new missiles. Uh. It's alright. I need to sort my points out. Uh, so what am I at right now? Two six five six. What is he in reference to again? I know du- it's high, du- but I just can't remember. Duchess Ishi. Oh right, yeah. The the one the one character that completely uh, evaded us in the first campaign, but managed to come back ah. in the second campaign. Oh, I remember her. Uh, just a note to chat as well. If you are interested in High Fleet, um, Tarkan Renzis on the Discord is doing a whole massive fan fiction, which is really well written um, on Tarkan submitted from the community. So there's a Google form you can fill out to add your Tarkin to the pool, and uh, they'll show up in the story. Well, I could fit a lot of missiles here. Maybe I'll make something a bit bigger. Uh... Let's make something a bit nastier. Yeah, so- Someone was telling me, Frost, that apparently for the next campaign you're going, we should do a kindness run. 
Is that, is that true? That is the current idea, yeah. Which oh is uh, God, adding, for, adding for extra difficulty. Man. You are a madman. I yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. Be, I'm being, <laughs> gonna be punished really badly for this this campaign idea. It's gonna take a. I think it's taking a lot longer to get off the floor than I really expected it to. Um, but I'm not against that because I'm having so much fun with all of the um, the stuff people are making. It, it's been really cool to see. Twenty points over. Come on. Sorry? Yeah, I'm just 20 points over right now and I'm trying to figure oh. out what I can dump. You know, I don't get what the point of the Kinetic Penetrator is. It seems just like the worst warhead. It's more expensive than um, the Shape Charge. And on average, I find that the Shape Charge in most of my missile designs... It's pretty ...just have use. better penetration. I, th I oh, take it as a battleship killer. Is, yeah, it's a battleship killer, it's a big ship killer, it's an anti-capital. It's, it's very easy to kit out a HE kinetic penetrator with something dumb like 600 centimeters of, like, armor pen, which will, like, overpen anything but a, but a battleship from the bow. Um, it's like, it, it's, it, it's kind of weird. I still don't know how to best use them. They can be yeah. really strong, but this one, they're weird. This one has a, um... No penetration? What? Well, I guess the thing is, I have exclusively been using size 1 missiles effectively for my offense. Oh, there we go. Since I've only been using size 2 hybrid and size 1s for my scout offensive missiles. Because I find this really useful for just like giving my scout something to shoot yeah. without getting like a fully dedicated gun system. He had a pretty consistent oh, not perfect, but yeah. Yeah. You're right. Miss yeah, I, th I think scout. Like it's just something to shoot at other scouts with. I'm know? just taking it to get yeah. through, as to kind of guarantee penetration. But over penetration would be very bad. Also, I got promoted to lieutenant junior grade, so I'm the best captain in the fleet. You run pure EO comrade. Yeah, it, it is good, but it's uh, expensive. Do we have a new game hosted already, uh, or should I just? If you don't mind, if, unless we've got one ready already hosted, we'll just do a. We'll just play some AI and see what people show up. Or we could jump in and play against randoms, but that usually results in us getting wiped off the face of the space. Oh, wait, I have to sack our fleet seeing I guess, don't I? So, so was that? I have to sack our fleet seeing I guess, don't yes. I? Yes. This is an extra, an extra level of... Um, concern. I'll try this setup again. Same password as last time? Yes. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Uh, I'm gonna throw in a... Oh, that sounds cool, Craig. Start the task force, which one's decent. Uh, yeah, let's do that, why not? Actually, there's another fleet I, want, I really want to test, which is... Just be careful we don't give the AI too many missiles, because it's very good at launching them in rapid succession. Uh, only, wait, right, there's, only one of the fleets has missiles. That's a, that's a fleet name and a half, yeah. Neutron. Oh, that is a <laughs> fleet name I made for another mini multiplayer game, well, which was my first game of the game in forever, so I just... Oh, good. I thought it was funny. Build whatever the... They told you to build. Whatever I could think of. Oops, all the other airships, yeah. Setting all the colors to roughly be the same. Yeah, that's good. I had to do that when I recorded stuff for this. Sifrin, I'm just gonna take what happened. You know, like, I, I just, I've, I've made my bed and now I have to sleep 26, on it. 26, 71, 183. 46. And, and if we lose, then, you know, it's, it's because they had a point advantage over us. It's not our fault. <laughs> also, Go why on. am I, this is the wrong fleet, is it? Why am I so much under on points? Seven, nine, two. This is the updated fleet. Oh well, I must have missed a couple of missiles. Oh well. Oh, did you maybe change a missile in the editor? Then. Oh, I did. I reduced its speed. Yeah. yeah. I reduced the amount of fuel in my missiles. Oh well. Sometimes weird stuff like that can do things. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, what about the game settings? Actually, do we keep those just standard or? 
Do you want to set a time limit on it just in case we don't have to be chasing oh, yeah, a frigate around? Like put it at forty-five that's not minutes. Not a bad idea, actually, because the AI it's... doesn't know when to give up. I've literally just woken up, create. True. I'll put an hour on it. I've been awake for less, just over half an hour. Oh, should we say thirty minutes? Yeah, that actually, should be no, fine. Actually, no, we have we have we have victory points, so. Yeah, that's a good point. That does put an end point on it. Yeah, let's just go. Tacos isn't green yet. Oh, yep, sorry, that's my bad. Go. Cool. Alright, everyone good to go? Let's do this. Buy some spaceships. So yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to see if Brawl Cruisers work. Um because I've been like I've been loving playing the battleship. The the Doubt is a great fun ship. Light to play. or heavy? A heavy. Because I know how to I know how to build um the light cruisers. You put Mark 64s on them and you go really fast. But I want to see yeah. if you can do it with the bigger ships if they can actually compete. No, I don't. Well, I've got a brawling battleship in one of the enemy fleets, so... Alright. I'll head for a D well, if you want. I've got a very brawly... It's beam DDs. Radiant can hit up top one. and... My, my heavy cruiser is mostly missiles with beam turrets for... Nice. armament. I might skulk towards point A then. Oh, yeah, that's a nice little bit to get through, and then I can support you if something happens, yeah. and I'll probably move forward. And I can missile from the top. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Because yeah. I've got... It's all DDs, but one mm. of them is a missile-based DD. Also clear up the dev console, because bugs galore. Or at least connection problems. Yeah, host gets tons of spam. My biggest concern with these brokers is the, is the PD situation on them. Do they kind of need support? Um, I'm, I'm, this is what I'm trying to find out. What can we do for yeah. you, Commander? We're underway, Commander. It's kind of the one thing I like about aye, aye, Commander. Beam DDs a lot is that it's very easy to make. It's pretty hard in Nebulous to make Understood. a complete package of a fleet with everything you need. Yeah, it, it, I, I actually like, like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel Beam DDs are the most all rounders, yeah. Yeah, it's the closest you can get. I find beam DDs to be pretty short range, and this the main really issue with beam DDs check. is for their whole size, they're quite tubes. slow and flimsy. Yeah, that's the main issue with them. As for missiles, I've got 36 would... anti-rad with a backup radar, I've got some cruise radar and some direct radar. I would really love a um, another destroyer hull. Hmm. What's yeah. the, is that, is that stone what you've got on your beam DDs? The quad, the quad uh, yes. flag. I thought it only had two barrels. I didn't realize it had four. It's kind of it, it's so a rapid fire flak weapon. Yeah. yeah. They defeat. I mean, basically, the defenders are there to maybe defeat hybrids, mm. but I can't really fit auroras on this with the power budget. So stone walls basically beat everything else. I've been using uh, Mark sixty twos on my battleships as part of my PD network. Yeah, no, I really huh. like that as well. That's a lot of that. That feels really good. It's, it's... Especially because uh, they're also good for like hitting things like a uh, close range frigates and exactly, yeah. corvettes that try to juke around the arcs of your guns. You can use 120s as PD. Yes, if you yes. if you load them with RPF rounds and don't give them orders, they will auto fire on. I mean, if uh, you manually target tracks. them, you can even use the Mark 64s. Yes, you can. PD. But the they're actually fantastic for that. But the Mark 61s and the Mark 62s will auto fire. Uh, I was going to track down at Echo. I'm locking. Yeah, I... I see it. I don't think I've got uh, a line of sight. Out of lock range, yeah. It's yeah, I don't, I don't have a line of sight yet. I'm gonna well, stay RPS, close. Uh, shot like very, uh, very little um, fragments or whatnot. They seem to be pretty well, effective in this expansion. Lost some cruise missiles into Echo. Yeah, I'm just gonna jam them. Are you jammed? I mean, they're pretty far away, but it's better than nothing, I figure. I think they're behind a rock for so. us right now. Oh, they Actually, disappeared. Yeah, I'm too... I, I, I don't really want to throw missiles into something. I don't know what... Oh, wait, that's a battleship. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to come and support you against that, then. It's once I've capped D. Another track next to 9426 as well. just popped up. The enemy is securing zone boxer. Uh, Where do I want to go here? The enemy is securing zone eclipse. I see fire coming at you from the battleship. Yeah, it's pretty inaccurate though. We're underway, Commander. We'll 
get it done, Commander. Supplies are getting TRP. Understood. Ryan pushes, pushes myself above Echo. Standing by. Yeah. Uh, just I'll launch my long range radar cruisers to just see and if they. Yeah, create. Do I, I, I named my ships after high fleet characters usually, so it's the Pyotr Ivanovich and the Duchess of Issy they're named after. But uh, only Dioud gets to be named after Battleship. Yeah, they're Robins. in there. That's another Solomon. Okay. Receiving. The enemy secured zone boxer. Activating buzzers. I'm painting the Solomon with a spotlight right now. Yeah. I'm gonna you launch a couple of missiles. Blasting it with a. Uh... Never mind, I'm out of range. Target acquired. Awaiting orders, Commander. Understood. Engaging the enemy. Moving out. Move a bit closer so one day maybe my beam can do something. <laughs> one day maybe. Well, I'm I'm hitting it with 685 at the moment. I need to switch to I need to switch to AP. We're ready when you are, Commander. I'm getting jammed. Understood. Engaging the enemy. Okay, yeah. They're Commander. taking just That's taking my missiles apart Commander. with Auroras. Oh, missiles just incoming. Good amount on them. And oh, there's a point okay. defense missiles. Getting jammed now. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, he's reappeared. Get through. Ah, nothing got through. Alright. Alright, I've got AP fire coming in on the Solomon now. Uh, I've got a retreat by missile DD back. It's taking too much heat. Ah, thanks, TRM. I forgot it was shifted to that, actually. Missile reserves are low. ready when you are, Commander. Oh, good salvy you took there from that gun, Solomon. Commander, I got a lock on us. Moving out. I'm getting locked up. Radiant, still undetected, so maybe I can go and surprise him with some beams. If I can get my beam BDs close and close enough to actually do something. Radiance locked now. Enemy has engaged. I'm behind the rock, so I should be fine. I don't have a lock anymore. I'm gonna stay above this asteroid. Whoa, whoa, 3625 just launched a ton of missiles. This is Star 5 launched a load of missiles. Yep, I see it. Might have been... no, there's no missile in the camp, wouldn't have been my PT missiles. Okay. That'll be the missile like cruiser then. They're incoming on me. But my PD is not shooting at them. Oh, this is nasty. I've just lost a Pyotr. Pyotr's about to explode. I lost a lot of stuff. I have flank speed above the asteroid, I'll... Oh. They tried jamming, but we've burned through. Well, I guess that kind of answers the questions. If uh, heavy cruisers can brawl, the answer is, why is no. no. Uh, now they're, now why they're are stuck you on each other. Ra ramming. What can we do for you, uh, Commander? The enemy has Yeah, I'm just getting rained on by these Vox holes from day. Not a lot I can do. No, oh, don't worry, the Issy is docking with the Pyotol to evacuate the crew, that's what's happening. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, I lost my... Damn, I lost my, um... Magazine. Yeah, these missiles are coming out of nowhere as far as I can see. They, they're they too stealth for me. Ah, uh, yeah. You basically have to burn through when they launch and then AMM them. This is bad. You have eyes on the like cruiser that has the missile so so. Jamming now. Component destroyed. Power is back up. What can we do for you, Commander? I'm gonna try and hit it with as many missiles as I can in a second. I'm gonna try and move to the left of his asteroid and kill those three light ships that are Vauxhall's coming from the side. Aye aye, Commander. Moving out. Yeah, I'm 
Yeah, I'm rapidly out of position and rapidly getting targeted. Standing by. Actually, I'm gonna try and get some cruise missiles on the Vauxhalls. Yeah, I'm trying to get some uh, Avalanisat missiles. Aye, aye, Commander. Firing missile. Copy that. Deploying missile. Okay, yeah, Commander, that's done. the enemy has locked on to us. Oh, missile Commander. detected. Who's Salvo's going out? I lost them. What can the enemy be that engaged? Okay, what was that sound? I'm getting some decent lag on my machine right now. Alright, yeah. great. Have a good one. Yeah, this is bad. My, my, my battle cruisers are just dead. Like, I'm doing nothing for this fight now. The yeah, end this game is really, uh, pretty hard. It is pretty punishing. Yeah, I don't think my missiles hit anything. Yeah, I'm just getting bombarded by invisible missiles. Wow, it's like radar jamming, except it's even shittier. Yeah. It doesn't help two that my two defend, my battle cruisers defender. lost their um, the radar panels really early in the fight. Uh, I'm trying to restore them, but I don't think I'm gonna get there. You can roll the ships to get the radar panels that haven't been um, destroyed. Sadly, I guess I'm on the uh, left side. The they got penetrated all through and just gone. Well, I'm gonna roll ahead in and see if I can't see something. Oh, I see a lot suddenly. I'm just gonna jam blindly into I. I well, I've right those missiles in the wrong direction. <laughs> Target lock initiated. Jamming now. Why can I not lock the radiant? Oh, Dark Comet's taking a beating. I don't think they'll be firing any more missiles. Fortunately, it's not the missiles that are the problem, it's... the guns. Alright, this is down. Piotr is blind. I have no resurrections left. Yeah, this is not a good fleet. <laughs> So who's left? I've just got the Pyotr left. Me, because I've been hiding behind a rock. Yeah, I've got one missile destroyer. So, a coward is all that's left. <laughs> he was trying to support fire. Yeah, she's about to go down. There's nowhere near the survivability that a battleship has. Not that I think a battleship would have survived what I took in this fight. I was so the blind. The of the heavy cruiser is you have a spare ship that usually isn't taking any damage because one of them is getting uh, yeah. targeted down. But that went badly. Almost in range of that Solomon. Yep. It, it always, in my opinion, it always goes badly whenever you go out of B because it's a wide open space when you finally get to, uh, uh, sorry not B, I mean D. If you go out of D, it's a wide open space. There's really only two ways for you to go which is forward or backwards. You can't exactly, like, dodge left or right. <sighs> that missile uh, hit. Yep, I'm out. Where the f frick are those missiles going? I pointed them downwards. I think, um, we had, a, so, like, a long-range missile destroyer. Yeah, again, in this map, just point D is, frankly, a death trap every time we've played on this map. Like, maybe, the maybe last a, time, uh, maybe a my gun ally, battleship uh, is a good idea. Neutron, who was going D, got targeted pretty quickly and... It seemed like they were going to have the fight. They were fighting first. Meanwhile, I was going to um, A. 
Yeah. Oh well. It's what very. It's it's very tempting to go D when you're in big sm slow ships. It is, and I think that that's probably the best idea for ships. Um, what are war dialers? D might be a good idea since it's. Huh? Your war dialers from Radiant. They're just all flying off out of the back battle map. I targeted them downwards, but they're for some reason just flying down the wrong direction. <laughs> I thought they were AMS missiles that had been mislaunched or something. I mean, I have my EO. They are. And... What the? F what the hell are these missiles doing? I have my. They're launching my missiles notes. downwards, but they're just going the wrong direction. <laughs> I had my EO sensor stage threes go into voxels when I had it at pointed at the Solomon. Oh really? Yeah. That's disappointing. Yeah. I think uh, what I did poorly there is the beam DDs were, pay were really poorly positioned. I just flew out and died, so I think if anyone has did anything wrong, it was me. I just I had the whole fleet shoot at me. The... What I should have done is ran my... I shouldn't have separated my E-War missile DD. I should have had it run together because I could have put point, put all three jammers on the Solomon when I first saw it and just tried to blast it. No, guys, you missed the real um, issue here. They had a point advantage, the AI. <laughs> they did. <laughs> no, but yeah, I think the reason why the AI won is they all clumped together, so they can yeah, all support they... each other with just overwhelming firepower. Their alpha strike was very high. Point defense. Yeah. As you can see, with the uh, with that last missile attack, just those three ships really eradicated everything the Radiant threw at it. I'm surprised the radiant isn't getting shot at. I guess you're jamming them. I'm not. I have no jammers on this. Why aren't they shooting at you? I just don't think they have a good angle. I'm on the rear firing arc off the chips, I'm guessing. I yeah, mean, they don't have a good angle. Those Voxels probably aren't in a good way because they've eaten like a, they've eaten some nasty missiles, but the Solomon, once it gets its bear yep, there it goes. Yeah, bottom guns firing now. Yeah, it's rolling to forget everything. I mean, the... I've loosed all my missiles except the PD missiles, so yeah. It's interesting that they put a Mark 66 at the back rather than a Mark 68 on that battleship. Can the back take a Mark 68? Yeah, it can. I don't I think it can. They just seem too big. Like putting my eggs in all in one basket. They're definitely putting all your eggs in one basket. But I had a lot of fun last week with my battleship. I might take the doubt out for the next game. I think I knocked down the bottom turret, maybe. Are you are you uh, Winchester? You got a missiles? Yes, okay. I am Winchester on missiles. I am running solely with the beam now. I actually quite like that idea of putting a beam on the on the missile cruiser. Because it means you can gonna... do pretty good nice damage to frigates and corvettes if they get close because the tracking's really fast on it. I'm gonna back out so I can take a look at that fleet I just ran. Yeah, but there's also something to be said about using long range missiles on a rail um, heavy cruiser. Yes, for sure. It supplements the rails. Range. I have seen so few rails since the missile expansion. Yeah, they're kind of trash. Are you getting fired up by somebody else now? Oh, that's a, yeah, I think, the they got are. I think you might have taken the engines out on the x -Road. It's not able to turn. Oh shit, yeah, did you might... defeat the, uh, the Solomon? Sorry, the Solomon. I might have beamed it enough in the engines because I came from behind, yeah. Are you out of engines as well? Too hot yourself. Uh, I think my front engines are gone, but my rear engines aren't. Could move closer, I guess. See if you can get behind it. Cause that that voxel's dead. That reigns is dead. There's three voxels with really guns. You're gonna win around. this by flanking a Solomon and destroying its engines in a heavy cruiser. Yeah, it stopped firing. The the Solomon has stopped firing. Unbelievable. Getting jammed by one of the surviving reigns. This is a costly brawl for both sides. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think your problem is... The turret is reloaded. 
Your problem is track 7801 jamming. No, that Reigns is actually still alive. And it has a blanket jammer pointed at you. 6839 is jamming you. If you want to just give it a lick with a beam. Yeah, I guess I can retarget. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Your speed's too much for and... the track. Yeah, this thing's designed to go full flank speed, so... You tickled it. Yeah, it, I guess I tickled it. It has Eland and it has two Eland and a Jammer. Okay. That's probably reasonable. I've dismissed all I need to use more of the Puff Adder, where it's basically the cheapest thing I could fit a decoy launcher on. Oh, I really want to mess around with double decoy is, launchers. I don't really want it to do damage, it's just there to waste AIMs. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm toying, I haven't done it yet, but I've been toying with the idea of mixed missile barrages where the first missile has a decoy launcher and then behind it are missiles with radar suppression. Yeah, I, ne I need to do something like that as well. Oh, I made one of those, but I found they just get chewed up by a good PD anyway, because oh. I only made them size 2, so maybe uh, on size 3 they work. The um, range is offline, you can see the bridge lights have gone off. Oh, the, the Solomon's guns are active, it's tracking you. Front guns, no. Yeah, the rear guns are not moved. But you can probably stop shooting at the reins now. Yeah, I'm doing a turn for the Solomon. Where's point alpha? It's pretty close. Yeah. Uh, what did I just get beeped at by? Oh, life pods. That's good. That was a good beam. Oh, got most of its reactors in the rear if I remember the build, so it should be taking some good damage. Now I remember why I wanted to build size 3 missiles, it's for the health. Yeah, no. Do a move around to Alpha for the points. Don't think I have a damn con to. The enemy is securing zone oh, there you go, they're tapping D. I don't think you know cap them. Battleship versus destroyers seems a bit unlikely. The reload time on your beams really long. I guess you've not really built it for fast beams. It's only a single energy booster. For the auroras and the beam. The big problem with beams is if you don't have a particle accelerator, they uh, really don't do a lot of damage to battleships. As I discovered when I tried to do a <laughs> beam battleship. I've never built a beam battleship. That's something I got there. I, I flew it into combat. It, it beamed another battleship for about twenty minutes, and then we got to the end game screen, and it had done about a thousand damage. It, it, it literally came to the point where my battleship ran out of full fifty millimeter cannon shells. <laughs> But yeah, no, if you get them out with uh, the focus particle accelerators, beam battleships uh, can just tear things up. It's pretty Who's incredible. Who's telling me now? Might be 4966. Oh, never mind that. That might have been a dead. That Voxel you were past is 100% dead. Oh, uh, at, dead. At Delta, uh, track 9448. It's disappeared now. Nine four four eight. It's gone Delta. now. But it's, it's at Delta. Yeah, they're in Delta probably. Doing shit. Capping. I don't, I don't think you can cap. You can win this. As much as it would be nice, that you did. Wait, uh, Solomon's moving again. Oh god. <laughs> the beast is awoken. You can't even see the track at D right now, which is a bit scary.
Just trying to get that bottom gun on you. No, I don't, the bottom gun's not tracking. Lasered the bottom gun, bottom gun a lot earlier, so I'm guessing it's knocked out. They just can't turn. It's at 65% condition, I've got the intel on it. Should have conserved some of my missiles, but all those war dies. I bet you. I bet you didn't know that. I could have done no something. Went off into. I'm, I'm bomb certain bomb I didn't know damage. It was a very bad game for me. That's another thing I need to get better at. It's way too tempting to just dump all of your missiles way too early. Yes. Before you have oh, a I'm so bad at that. firing solution. Yeah. What I really want to play around with is um, a torpedo loaded Corvette. With They're a lot of fun. Kind of candidate launches and hot launching them inside PD networks. You wait until much later on in the game, you use the, the, the Corvette as an Ewok Corvette until the end of the game, and then you just take out whatever's still surviving with massive torpedo strikes. Man. Yeah. Jesus, is that Solomon still going? Yes, it is. It can't it's shoot, though. And it can't turn to bring its guns to bear. It's still got 60... Per, 60 that part thing is pure guns and... Guns and damaged con inside. Yeah, apparently it's conditions up to 91 now. I think it's is going for a cap. Bite. I mean, they're obviously. Yeah, they're more, they have more points over us. I think it's quicker if I just evac my ship and yeah. end this, isn't we'll it? Yeah. yeah, we'll go into the next game. We've lost this fight. They they have more points than us. It, it doesn't just, seem like you're it was, anytime it, soon. It was just nice to see the uh, the radiant try. Yeah. It was, admittedly, but uh, yeah. <sighs> Most of the yeah. victories I've got against the AI are just from outmaneuvering them. Yeah, my, my fleet did absolutely nothing as suspected. Well, that's how I get most of my victories as well, is my destroyers outmaneuvering the enemy. Hmm. It was, yeah, it was my missile fleet, the Dark Comet, 22,000 damage. The what? And the gun battleship as well, 14,000. The Herald of the Dragon. It kind of got timed. Alright, let's go again. Uh, I'll host up again, give me a second. I've got, I've got time for one big game left, I think. Depends on how long it takes, maybe two. Yeah, it's, it, the AI is very good at what it does, TRM, you are 100% right. No, I think I'll take the radio now again. I'm gonna take the dow the dowd out. Hello, hello. 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 Oh, we've got a two v two maybe. Wallace, if you're up for it, Wallace. Another hand touches the beacon. Although I will warn everybody that Wallace is incredibly good at the game. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> trust me, there there are I think those. My uh, my PC's at, uh, my game's acting up, so I won't have to fight Wallace. There there I mean, are some out there. You can there. join the spectator if you want to. They, they I still think I would be kicked out like five minutes into the game because of how unstable it is. Compared to me, Wallace, you're definitely incredibly, incredibly good. Ah, uh, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, that that makes me feel better considering Seeger like two nights ago just like S2H strike after S S2H strike would consistently hit my Sarissa BB, and I sat there thinking this this thing's worth 2,700 points of like point defense, and it is not stopping hybrids. Oof. This is yeah. frustrating. Do you want to jump on? Sure. I'm, uh, what's the... Yeah. Okay, the password's 123, and we'll do a 2v2. <laughs> I just lost two... Uh, I tried to build, um, Brawl Battlecruisers, and they died instantly in the last game, so I'm feeling pretty, pretty sad. Well, wow, that's a lot of points for that fleet. Whoa, what is... Oh, yeah, can I take my 1.69? <laughs> <laughs> I think something got screwed in the update there. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry no, about no, it. No, no, I want to hear what's behind the story behind this fleet. It's funny. Uh, we we had a little competition of build the most expensive fleet, and it has to have zero warnings and still be, um, you, like you can't. They have it has to have a CIC. It has to be able to move that kind of thing, right? And essentially, it's um ten battleships that are missile battleships but they're all anti-missile missile the most expensive s2h is possible <laughs> which are like 
70 points each. Nice. And, oh and then the S1 AMMs are like 20 something. And then there's a single Sarissa on there that has about 3 million sand shot rounds. Wow. And I think that's enough for it. I'm not sure, but so Sarissa ammo is the most expensive thing in the game. Like, it's like one point for like 25 shots. It's... You know, it's surprising considering it's basically what, just iron dust? Mm-hmm. How the fuck did they manage to make iron dust so it's, expensive? It's really expensive because one company has the contract with the Alliance to produce the iron dust. And, <laughs> and the guns are set to shit. only fire their iron dust. <laughs> it's, it's, like, it's artisanal top iron dust. This is some top tier Soviet like graphs and whatnot. There's like a little uh, barcode that's like etched onto each iron. Yeah, each they moved SLS to October. God damn it. They moved what to October? SLS. Artemis 1. What the hell's SLS? Big fucking rocket. Oh, really? They moved to October? Yeah. They'll roll back to the VAB and. To get everything fixed. At least they're taking it what? very carefully. What what went wrong? That temp earlier. Uh, first in the test, something went wrong with the fuel valve, so they couldn't test some other valves. Those then malfunctioned on Monday, <laughs> and today they had a fuel leak. So. Oh. Fine. Indeed, mishaps. They will be. They will be fired out of the Sarissa next. <laughs> are we good to go? Are we ready to... I think we are, yeah. Yep, I have friends green. Let's um, do this. Do we want to take this serious business and jump into separate channels? Nah, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm taking out what I'm always been taking out, and... Well... <laughs> if, if Wallace types uh, wub wub into all chat, it means there's a lot of missiles coming. <laughs> you know... It's fucked up is that that's become such a like staple that like some of the sweats can type in yub nub and then see chaff being preemptively deployed in caps and it's just like <laughs> it's some psyop shit. Right, I don't want to repeat the last battle, so I'm not gonna do what I did last time. I'm trying to work out what I want to do though. I'll do this. I still don't really know what I'm doing. We're typing out to each other like, go here, do this, do that. <laughs> mm. Furious yeah, typing. The other one is a E war missile axe, Okay. Mm. Oh, so I was wrong. The rear turret can't take a Mark 68. It can only take a Mark 66. So, Crash, this, this ship is using uh, Mark 62s for PD. On it. I looked at the wrong ship. Oh. Um, remember, Frost, I'm watching the stream, so you're voice is sort of behind the act what I'm actually seeing. Then mute the stream. I have. I'll, I'll, I'll show you on stream just now, so I'll leave it set up. But that still doesn't like um, fix the issue of the stream is still slightly behind what Frost says. Yeah, I've got the stream on the minimum delay I can, but it's still about uh, one see. and a half seconds. Yeah, I, I, I see what, what uh, yeah. Frost is pointing at now. Yeah, it's a super cool way of uh, doing it, and I guess it makes sense that there's now dedicated class to um, PD mounts like the Sarissa and the Stonewall. The other, nice, the other nice thing about it is later on in the battle, those Mark 62s can be used to shoot at frigates and corvettes. Oh, he's firing Oh, uh, yeah, like secondaries, like... Um, Rip something, something like is dead. Like an idea that I had a pre-missile update with the heavy cruiser. I know I'm going pretty hard with these FF with these uh, Corvettes, but they're kind of expendable to be honest. I'm really worried. On it. Understood. Did I? I got a track. 
No, it's your, it's your, uh... Oh, is the radio taking fire? Is the radio taking fire or is that a preemptive? He might have done that to get you to launch chaff so he knows who you are. Oh, you guys are both in Charlie and Delta. No. No, we're not. <laughs> oh, wait, you're in Boxer and Echo? Are you perfect? perhaps in Boxer? Possible. Unconfirmed reports. The enemy secured zone eclipse. Okay. We have secured zone dagger. Right, I'm gonna make a Are you gonna move point A or where's Dark yeah. going? So at, at this point, because we grabbed our caps faster, we don't have to necessarily. Yeah, grab we have Alpha. to be aggressive here. Correct. You either flip one of our naturals or make the push into Al. I'm gonna kind of like this. One of the effective things you can do with a Sarissa battleship that's got beams is put it between E and Alpha, or Alpha and Bravo, any of the other caps, and it can cover two caps of beams, so long as it's not getting hit by missiles, cannons, and all kinds of stuff. It's a huge deterrent. Course laid in. Yes, with that, I am incredibly slow. Send traffic. What is your speed with this? Doesn't show me on friendly intel. Aye, aye. What's the typing going on? Uh, my full flank speed is about 26 meters per second. I can do 30. Standing by. Track. Track. Lock. Locking on Track. Target. <laughs> Repositioning. Intel pending, guessing it's some sort of frigate. Standing by. Aye aye, jamming. Ooh. I'm getting locked by something. That's more than what I bargained uh, for. And it's not uh not four four two two. Oh, track. It's a battleship. Range, negative. On it. That's a cool event. Uh, 9346 nine, is a battleship. 4442 four, is a. We'll no, 4422 is a. We'll get it done. Cool event. Oh, Mason. Who's getting shot at? No. Your point defense was shooting at me. <laughs> Receiving. Why are you not able to shoot? Bearing to target. Right, I'm too fucking fast. Horse laid in. Gotcha. Negative, too far. I'm probably firing at too long a range here. They just capped A, yeah, so you're... we are we're under a lot of pressure now. Yep. Reporting. Since you're at the ten, you're at your max range. You're firing at a broadside battleship, but because you have no hard lock, those shells are never going to hit. I put it on maneuver and flank, even with just one dragonfly. The dispersion is about 500 meters off. You see 9816? Yes, yes. That is way out of our range. It's out of range though. Yeah. Yeah. But I could do something about it. Course laid in. Um, I have made some edits to the Sarissa Executive. battleship. It now has a uh, par uh, focused particle accelerator. Okay, so uh, that's a big problem I found with that battleship was I took it into a brawl and it just did no damage. So that's a yeah. big change. I have to lock on that Solomon. I do not have LOS on the Solomon, sadly. Send traffic. We're reading. Fuck it. If you can get me eyes on 9986. 
Hopefully it's different, uh, yes. I think 9346 is our current problem. Okay. Yeah, 9346 is a big problem. Something's locking me. Fire control lock. Are those, um, who's guided? They're gonna hit the rock, I think. Pretty late. Unless you've waypointed them. They were direct on their uh, different course assumption, apparently, my intel was shit there. Oh, capping C. Capping C. They're capping C. Got them sprinters. I'll do something. I can do something about that. Did I say I hate missile controls? Because I hate missile controls. We're in big trouble here. Uh, missiles? Wait, what's going on? Well, they're coming in really close. Ouch, that's... That was that's that was a lot. They can More missiles. Yeah, damn stealth missiles. I see the track. Under target. Yeah, we see them. See if these will do anything. Yeah, we see them. Solution locked in. Oh. Huh? Aye, aye, full burn. Reporting. Target's gonna be advisable to expire. Aye, aye, proceeding. Standing by. Lock target. Aye, aye, buzzer is active. Target confirmed. Missile away. Roger that command. Buzzer engaged. These missiles are all over the place. <laughs> Just flying around the sprinter. Missiles are also not doing shit. Yeah, that Solomon is just too good PD for me to do anything. Locking on the target. We'll get it done. Missile Fire control locking on. Positioning. Missile Yeah, beam battleships be strong. A lot of chatting going on in the team. Sorry, it's just my keyboard's really loud. Oh, all my missiles. Did any of my missiles hit your sprinter? Because they were designed to kill Corvettes and they didn't hit. Uh, no, they missed. Unfortunately. Aye, aye. The, whole, the whole design of that Corvette, that, that frigate, was to kill sprinters with missiles. Kill, yeah. Set traffic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Radiant is almost behind the rock. I'm trying to get a fire Come solution. On. Come on. We're reading you. Missile detected. Why are you off center? Come on. Send traffic. Reporting. Thank you. Because I had even pulled fire because I'm an idiot. I lost the track now. Spiker detected. Standing by. 
Knock him out. We'll get it done. Halt. Aye, aye, Pullberg. Yeah, we actually get some fire off for once. I'm getting jammed. Reporting. Aye, aye, proceeding. Aye, aye, jamming. We have secured zone common. The enemy is securing his own attack. Missile warning, inbound spider. Force laid in. Acknowledged. Let's see if this PD does anything. Under fire. Nope. <laughs> Rip. Missile warning. Ouch. The enemy is jamming us. Force laid in. Locking target. Reporting. Ready. We'll get it done. Launch to clear. Jammer engaged. They didn't do that much damage, but I'm not telling the stream that they did. I'm not telling the people in the game that they did that didn't do that much damage. That's a good point. I can probably push this Axford really hard. I'm just worried about points. It's my big problem. Let's get flank off. I'm just really worried about points. I'm kind of loving the gun corvettes. They are so insanely annoying. Yeah, they, they are driving me crazy. I can't do anything about them. I'm, it doesn't matter that I've got battleships because I can't fight them. So it's it's not really an engagement. Yes, that's what my quizzes are for. In worst case, RPF them. It feels really annoying, Sephiroth. It's almost like it's hubris. Yeah, I think you're right, T-Ram. I have 120mm on the Dowd as well, which I can use to fire at Sprinters, and the whole point... Oh! Oh, dude, the radiant has gone. Rip me. Okay, let's pull back to D. Try and cap back D. We'll give a heading command forward. So we're coming back slowly. Aye, aye. Send traffic. Jammer engaged. If I can get Standing any by. sign of what's at D, I can try and hit it with RPF. I think I'm doing a lot of damage to this Axford, but it's one ship. Taking fire. 85%. Oh, we're in range of the beam of the That's really bad for us. The enemy is securing zone common. We need free pair team stat. Locking on the target. Yeah, we see him. Solution locked in. Component destroyed. Guidance online. Oh my god, this thing is still alive. Missile reserve low. Aye, aye. Jam it. Aye aye, jamming. Missile count is low. They're locking on. Orders. Component disabled. Just try to keep a track of what I need to keep alive here to stay in this fight. But I'm being in range of a beam battleship is very bad for me. Open. Just so close. I don't think I can break the range. Component saving. The enemy secured zone common. Component destroyed. 
Send it. Nah, he's cutting me to pieces. I need to get that, that Mark 62 back online if I can. I'm trying to roll to move that, the, that his um, fire over. The rule is just to try and stop him from hitting the same components over and over again. I don't know if it's going to work. Internal damage. Component destroyed. Because we're rolling, though, our accuracy is really bad. I also don't have a lock on him anymore because I lost the lock. Unable. I think I've lost a radar panel on that side. Watch up, DC locker. I lost be bad. Rapid DC locker. Bullseye. Let's see if we can get the bullseye back online. Okay, let's move. Okay. Oops. Good noise upstairs. Ooh, this is not going very well. We've lost all the points now. Oh, the Dow's gonna let's hit the rock. I'm not backing away. All engines. We're gonna die here. Component online. Wait, that's fine. So it's more of a question whether we die first by elimination or. I think by... we're gonna die first by elimination, honestly. Points. I knew that I'd lose to Corvettes, capping everything. I need to, like, stop trying to t just push big fights because you need to have back cappers. And the Chatterbox is the son of Alsa here isn't doing enough on its own, unfortunately. It's actually uh, just being. The son of Alice here trying to run away. No, it's trying to cap. I honestly had other things to, do to deal with, which is why I wasn't really paying attention to it. On it. It was trying to Might cap. Might not be a bad idea. It was trying to I mean, cap uh, yes, Bravo. But... Standing by. Component back online. Locking the target. Solution locked in. Moving. Damage report. The three res resurrections left. Let's get our... This DC locker has two left. So we'll get it back online. That would give, recover me one. Let's see how the Sprinter likes taking some RPF rounds. How does your Sprinter like taking those RPF rounds? Uh, yeah, it's, it's not locking. Apparently it's not doing any damage to it. Oh, what? The, the shots uh, on my screen are like arcing uh, into the asteroid. Oh, uh, yeah. I am trying to get behind the asteroid, so... No, they're like turning at 90 degree angles and hitting the asteroid. Okay, that's very weird. Yeah, I can see it happening. That's pretty strange. Not happening on my screen. His beam battleship's coming for me. I could try and run away, but I think I'm just going to engage it because screw it. Locked in. Attempting lock on. Standing by. Aye, aye. Buzzer is active. Negative. Channel's open. Component back Let's see if we can line. do something for the end of this. The end of this travesty. We're probably going to run out of time before I can hit it. Give a head and command in this direction. Aye, aye, I'll hit flank. What else can we restore to get this fight going? Uh, rebound. All my guns are active. I've lost berthing, a workshop, an ammunition elevator. We're probably in as good a condition as we can get. Let's get this ammunition elevator online just so we've got as many weapons as possible active when we get into the fight. We're taking fire over here. Yeah, I know. Send it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I wanted to hit flank. Thanks, hit this house. Chatterbox is going down, but we knew that was going to happen. I don't think the doubt is actually going to get onto target before the game ends, unfortunately. Alright, I'm back. what I miss? <laughs> You've been AFK this whole time and I've been hiding from you. You've been AFK this whole time and I've been hiding from you. Oh. And then realize you're AFK. Where'd you go? I withdrew because it was a point-blank combat with a beam battleship. Aww. Oh, that's hurtful, man. I thought you were tracking me with the sprinters. Uh, I think... Uh, I think tacos is. Speaking yeah, of, that's what I got for dinner. Oh, nice. 
got the saddest thing. I actually really like Tex-Mex, but there's no existence in Tex-Mex places in my university town. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> the, the Corvette can actually fit 120mm. No, it um, can fit 120 as well as one of the larger cannons. The heavy cruisers, like, heavy cruisers uh, do I'm, really I'm well. I'm glad I learned the, the same lesson uh, you did about, like, you have to put one FPA on, because if I didn't have this FPA, this would have been a different fight. Yeah, I could have rolled you really nicely if you didn't have the FPA. And shout out to Hopeful Monster for pointing out me being stupid and taking all E-Regs, not an uh, FPA. See if we can. Yeah, we see him. need at least one. Yep. See if we can do something special here. I probably doubt it, but um, surprise. You probably know I'm here. Oh yeah, I, I see you visually. But I want to see this misplay here. Recording internal damage. All hands, all hands. Abandon ship, abandon ship. Goodbye, son of Elsa here. Okay, now... It makes me think it's about to go boom in a big way. <laughs> nah, I just got wiped off the map. It's not going to explode. Okay. Oh, you're talking about... Um... Not going out as fancy as I am. Or I do, oh. rather. Ow, oh, wow, everything hurts, oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, they kind of, I was expecting them to be complete trash, the gun corvette, the gun corvettes, but they kind of did, did their job, which was screening for scouts, hey, and then being really annoying by back capping. Beyond our reason next week. We'll take a break from uh, Nebulous for a while. Yeah, I think you can out damage me. Well, definitely at this range you can. What are your beams doing? That was weird. They're like misfiring. Yeah, I just put it on burn short, and they burnt themselves out. Uh, which you did on purpose. Yeah, it, but it's. That's game cute. over. Oh. Enemy mission low. Uh, GG. Big GG. You guys won GG. really handily. Thank you for the carry. No, uh, no, you, 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 you played very well. Um, as, as the uh, team won. Yeah. Um. I think the the problem I'm running into is playing with some of like the like a really experienced and really good players. What what they typically do, get your two caps as quickly as possible. After that, send basically an empty Corvette into A to like probe and see where their missiles are coming from. Then set up point defense in that direction. Yeah. Um, I think the the, bi yeah. the big disappointment for me that game was the Son of Asa here was supposed to have frigate and Corvette killing missiles. That was one of the whole points of the ship. And when I fired the missiles. They just did. They did. I mean, I literally did no damage. So they did. They did absolutely yeah, nothing. You were shooting at the faith of Katya, and it literally took zero damage. Yeah. The game. And that the whole point was for the the frigate to be able to to bully them off points, and it didn't work. So I was, I am surprised that the Barrett managed to stay alive. Granted, it didn't do much once it got completely pounded by the Dow, but it was still living somehow. The Sigur's Resolve actually took more damage than the Admiral Dad 4, which is, I'm very surprised at. Although you, did, you didn't shoot at me for a lot of the end of the fight there. Um, yeah. That was like, um, what was interesting was, because like, my, my beam battleship is really slow, right? It's only got one dragonfly. So it really comes down to playing the rocks and waiting for another teammate to take some hits to be able to pull out and then hit a ship that is overextended. Kind of what happened um but the other problem is you have to overextend because we had the caps so yeah that it yeah was oh, you, we, a rock we, in a hard place. take taking taking earlier with the so those are gun corvettes um what do they have they, they can mount a mark 64 on the chin can't they did you have the mark 64 or are you just using mark 62s uh talk to us uh, I, on the Corvettes, you can only have the Mark 64s, the 250s. You can't put 62s on? Uh... I... Oh, wait, sorry, you mean the 120s? The twin barrel yeah. 120s? Yeah, the double-barreled uh, 120. Yeah, I, I was considering having them on, but if I really... I, it would be more sensible to do that, but it's also more... It's funny to me to have yeah, the I, I think it's. Corvettes. I think it's really funny. Yeah. I like that they can fit that now. The, the other thing to that, that I'm, I want to mess around with is maybe you take a gun reins um, to bully yeah. points because the, the grains can now mount two Mark 64s, uh, so you can take two 50 millimeters, and it's probably really stupid. 
But I also oh, like the sure. idea of a range just guarding a point and being like, no Corvettes ever allowed in here. Oh, yeah, no, the now that the range, the frigate has a 250, um, the only benefit to running a gun voxel is it has essentially close to three times the firepower and the fight and like especially with the ammo elevators of free frigates right like that's the whole trade-off and what we found that's been successful is instead of running the free gun cls you run one of them with like four or five frigates hovering around it so it's like a frigate swarm with a uh, voxel in the center and they all have 250s and missiles and e-war and it's a very interesting build that desert saker put together but the issue is that the uh, CL and high skill uh, experience um, matches, it just it doesn't work very well against the missile spam. Yeah, it's kind of in the, the bad spot where larger missiles aren't going to overpen it as much as they would smaller things, but it's still very vulnerable to just generic <laughs> S2s. We're talking about um, gun frigates and gun corvettes. Actually, speaking of missiles, how much damage did the S2s I shot at the uh, Axe do? Uh, um, did it, I knocked out the fire control radar and put everything else in like yellow orange. Okay. And did that I do okay against the Dow? So the size ones that hit the Dow basically did, they didn't even penetrate the armor, they did nothing, and then a bunch of size two hits, and they put a couple of things to green, like light green and yellow, but none yeah. of the missiles destroyed any components of the Dow. It was only until I started taking beam damage yeah. that I started to take, okay. have issues. I was okay. pretending in voice that's chat that they were doing a lot more damage than they were, but they actually didn't do anything. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. I should probably change the warheads on. Yeah, definitely the size ones didn't penetrate. Because I was really worried when they got through. Because I didn't see them. They came out of nowhere. Um, that was the intention. <laughs> they came out of absolute nowhere. Are they like double anti-radar or what are they? It was... Well, I had a real nasty combo on the Dowd. I had double blankets and a hang-up and an illuminator on it. So, basically, it's very... Like, I think I shot some stuff that only had one radar coating on them. But even then, like... With double blankets and a hang up, you're not really going to be seeing much. Yeah, in that case, you have to b hope your burn through gets lucky and catches them so you can launch AMMs. Yeah. Well, even then, the issue I find with burn through against missiles is that they, they don't ID fast enough. Well, if you see yourself getting double blanketed and your yeah, burn through catches fast. missiles, you. No, that probably your point defense turret radar isn't gonna yeah. catch the missile in time, so you need to launch AMMs any anyway. Um, yeah. Two two things um, I would I would note. Once you spotted my battleship, it's really useful to place down a TRP where that is, and then you can always know. All right, I am this far um, away. Yeah, that's cool. This far away, exactly. Because yeah, once idea. you guys got within six kilometers of me, that's when I made that push out to close the one kilometer distance to get the beams to work. It's good to know that the Dowd with the guns is actually faster than your beam battleship as well, because I've got a Dragonfly uh -oh. and a radar. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can kite me all day. What does my battleship actually have? Okay, it's got a... Okay, my laser battleship has a Dragonfly and Whiplash. That's um, good. The other thing uh, to note is once uh, Tacos and I noted what ships you had, a, a typical mistake you see happen in a lot of games is people will be like, okay, I'm going to rush this cap and try to flip it. And waiting is, especially when you have the majority caps, is just, it's, why why do you need to win harder, you know? If you have the point of advantage, you stay yeah. back and let the enemy make a mistake, come to make you. Them. Yeah. But since you we know you guys... We had the cap disadvantage, so... We have to. It's not just that you you had three ships versus our five. Um, yeah. This this Sarissa BB works very well in a lot of lobbies, except the ones where the enemy team has so much scouting capability. They know where it is at all times. Yeah. Orientation, and the SUH slinger can then this throw is, them into the reactors. This is, 
this is a conversation we had before you joined the stream, but basically yeah. it's fun to play ships like battleships and heavy cruisers, but you're giving up so much in the way of map control by having one or two oh, ships. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. But definitely for newer players like me, um, having less ships is easier to get your head around. Yes. Uh, I, I still prefer running at the most two or three ships. I know some players who can run seven or eight of them and not oh in a swarm. Like seven or eight of them in different positions and, or and organizing it. It's really crazy. Um, the other thing to note is that the comp thought is a... Uh, I'm not going to give up too much because I know some Silvers will be listening. They'll be like, so that's how he's, he's changing this <laughs> around. Um, but it is a AMM Corvette. The whole point of it yeah. is it has like two kilometer to Ooh, three dude. kilometer range AMMs that are designed to, sh to shut down hybrids getting through. The Sarissas can take out any other kind of missile, but the hybrids always get through and do some kind of damage. And that's what you're figuring out. So yeah. are uh, pickets. Yeah, yep. my hybrid steered into the rocks because I yeah, I think that oh. fired them directly, or I no, my my waypoint was in the rock. I thought the Sarissas were the anti-hybrid gun. Uh, it it depends, right? So like the best point defense is, well, best in, in the most ideal circumstances is like an S2H hybrid that has that's an AMM. But after that, it's the 250 with RPF if you can get it down the line of bearing if those missiles are being fired straight at, at your ship and you have a bunch of 250 rpfs it'll do wonders because it fires at eight kilometers right the sarissa fires at six so we do some like a bit of arithmetic here most yeah. missiles stage at like four to five kilometers you only have a kilometer or two for your sarissas to fire that's, and hit that, that missile that's awesome hit mishaps we'll get we'll get a good yeah, bunch of blown for about yeah. next week Detecting missiles at eight kilometers sounds like a bit of a stretch, especially if they're using stealth, which the, the bigger, to be better. The big issue for me is I never have the right angle or the right time to get my 250s to fire at incoming missiles before it's too late. Right. I tried, because I you you show me that um, LC fleet that has RPF to shoot down missiles, and I've tried it in a couple of games, and I've never been able to do anything useful with it, and that's probably just a skill issue. But it's a very hard fleet to fly. No, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that, bro. It's like against some certain players, hopeful, uh, Seeger, uh, Wood, uh, Beef, especially. Jesus, he's terrifying. The the best missileers are ones that are able to hold on to their missiles for as long as possible and fire them from different arcs. Yeah. So, you're so I I can never exactly like. It's and it's it's a hard thing to to set up, honestly. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay, I've got some sad news, sadly. I need to run, so I'm going to have to end the stream a bit early. But I've had some fun. Thank you so much for playing, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, it was Good nice time. while it happened for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, sorry that you keep uh, <laughs> crashing out, Crash. Um, next week, we'll play some Beyond All Reason, so people are, are up for it. We'll be about for that. Um, and I'll get the Variags and stuff done on Tuesday this week, so it is going to happen. I'm sorry about missing the stream on Thursday, but we had no internet, so I couldn't run really too much. Um, but thanks for playing some Nebulous, and I hope you all have a good week, and I'll catch you later. Bye. You guys played well. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao. Sorry, David. <laughs>